<laughs> okay, this is my kids, Moderno kids, Power Wheels. Uh, yeah. Um, their grandfather got them this for Christmas, I don't know, two years ago maybe, three years ago, something like that. And um, about six months ago, I decided I was gonna make it faster for them and uh, ended up causing a few problems. The, uh, the electronics didn't exactly like the 24 volts that I tried to put to it, so. I went ahead and ordered up uh, this uh, this 24 volt um, complete controller kit. This one's from uh, East Coast Power Up, I think. Yeah, East Coast Power Up. So it's their um, universal variable speed East uh, 12, 18, and 24 volt kit. So it comes with a controller and it comes with uh, a brake pedal and a variable gas pedal there's a bunch of random stuff in here um so we're gonna go ahead and put this thing together and just kind of document a little bit and if i run into anything then i'm gonna talk about it but i mean it's pretty straightforward it's mostly just uh you know you take everything out that's in there all the electronic stuff you leave the motors um you take everything else out and then put in the new stuff and then hook your wires up like the diagrams here that's basically it so we're gonna go ahead and finish ripping out the rest of the stuff in here first there's a couple screws right up underneath there underneath there might have to take the steering wheel off which is fine too because this one comes with a controller a handheld controller where you know when the original configuration you can control it from the controller so making sure kids don't run into stuff um but we're gonna get rid of that uh, my kids are old enough now where <laughs> they still might run into stuff but uh you know it's a learning lesson at that point so yeah so we're gonna take that off we'll take the steering control off of there and uh, a couple other things too so we're gonna, probably gonna have to flip this thing over okay real quick I took those two screws off down here the bottom they're out and then uh, up here at the top there are these tabs right in here and i just took a, took a flathead screwdriver and pushed them in there and pried them out and they popped off no problem so and then you gotta pinch in these two pinch in these two uh pins right here and then the steering wheel comes off once you take the electrical connector off of there so these things they didn't feel very good before and the, the little tabs here uh, appear to be broken. So I may end up putting some screws or something in this thing so that it doesn't twist on them or anything like that. Make sure they you know, always have steering, but all right, keep going. the steering column and the dash out of it just a couple bolts down here a couple uh, screws I should say there's um, this is the the motor itself is held in by three screws at the bottom and then it had um, had this cover plate that you had to get off first there were just two screws on this uh, they're you know right down down the floor right there this comes off and then there's three screws on that and then you uh, flip it over. I flipped it over, and then there's a uh, there's a little pin um, and a washer to take this out of the, the steering shaft that goes across to both wheels. So it's really simple. Uh, just a couple little things, and it pops right out. I got the dash out. I'm gonna pull the wires, and then we'll pull the back off of it and pull all the uh, switches we don't need out of it, um, and then figure out the uh, wiring for the the shifter. Um, this one had a, a low and a high speed. You know, maybe just put a little uh, a little lock or something so it won't go into the high speed and just use the, the D1. Just use the forward and the reverse. So, I don't know. We'll see. Okay. So, the steering's out. The dash is out. All the extra wiring is out. I still have to pull these out of the dash. Um, and repurpose uh, whatever switches I need. I know the shifter I have to repurpose and then I could probably 
reuse the uh, engine start if I want. And they, they supply a switch over here too, but uh, I don't know, we'll see. I mean, the, the disassembly, pulling all this stuff apart, it's, it's super, super simple. There's probably, it's probably maybe 10 screws tops. Um, and the only thing left in here, they're the motor wires right there. They are yellow and blue and yellow and green. And then all these other ones are just the LED lights. Um, and I'm gonna leave these in here because I will hook them back up at some point. Um, this is where all the steering stuff went. And you can see here, I've already cut this all out for uh, for the batteries I'm gonna run. I've got some pretty large uh, 12 volt batteries. They're actually they're designed for vehicles, actually. I get a pretty good deal on their Odyssey batteries. And so I think uh, I think this thing's gonna be pretty fast and, and probably hold charge for a long time. So kids can have fun for uh, as long as they want and not have to worry about charging it. So we'll, uh, we'll tear into the dash, get all the switches switched out that we need. Uh, get rid of all the uh, wiring we don't need and then start wiring up all this new stuff So it, like I said, it's pretty simple. We'll just do uh, just do it one step at a time and uh, should go well <laughs> Four positions on this selector. You have reverse, park, D1, and D2. There's four wires. You have a black one, a yellow one, a purple one, and a green one. Uh, what I ended up finding was that the, the black one is the, the common uh, wire between all of them. And so you have the uh, black and green that is for reverse. So when it's in reverse, the continuity is between the black and green one. And then park, there is no continuity between them. D1 uh, ends up being the black and yellow one, and then D2 is the black and purple one, but also the yellow one then also has contact as well. Um, <clears throat> and so the easiest way to do this for this, this kit that I have um, is just to attach the yellow and purple one together, and then that way it has uh, continuity between the black and yellow and purple one, both in D1 and D2. So if my kids are in park, it won't go, obviously, but then if they put it in reverse, it'll go in reverse. But since there's not a multi-speed setup on this, um, I don't want them to get stuck if they put it in one or, or, or D2 instead of D1. I just would rather it be that either drive position is gonna make them go and drive and it's gonna be the same uh, no matter what. So, <clears throat> so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put this together. And then I have a, essentially a three position switch, even though there's four positions. And uh, that's really, that was the only thing that I wasn't sure about. I wasn't sure if they used a, a resistor in there or how they did it. I kind of assumed it was gonna be a, just a, you know, a four position switch essentially. So we're gonna keep going. <laughs> finished the first step or at least the uh, light gauge wiring portion of it and they have the paperwork here and it's got this actually I've only got a laser printer so um, it doesn't print in color so I just wrote down what colors they were uh, make it a little easier and uh, there we go just follow the directions wired it up the main things that you want to pay attention to are the directions of the diodes they have a gray uh, line on one side and that that goes away from the black wires um, up here on both of those there. And then there's a third one down here and that goes the black or the, the gray stripe uh, goes away from the blue wire there on the bottom. And that goes there. And got this all hooked up. 
So we'll move on to the next part. Um, I didn't even bother test fitting any of this. I just kind of went with the lengths they had, matched them up, and then just kind of tidied things up and ran the wires basically how it seemed like they wanted to go. Um, put a couple zip ties in, and we're just gonna figure out a place to put this uh, in the in the in the power wheels. So um, luckily, I mean the whole thing's made out of plastic. You can you can just put screws anywhere you want on the thing basically. Uh, to get this stuff all to fit. So that's what we're gonna do. We'll find a place to put it and then go from there Okay, I got all the heavy gauge wire uh, Connected on the bench uh, Basically like what they say you can do This is what they show you as what can be done on the bench You know, I've got the, the power leads there, but they'll probably get cut So I'm gonna take this whole assembly right here and I'm gonna just throw it in this thing and it's I think I'm gonna go over here somewhere in the Underneath here, um, I don't know, we'll see. I guess I could do it underneath the seat, but then I gotta run the power leads and the the positive and negative all the way up to the batteries, which are gonna be here. I think I'm gonna put the batteries in first, and then I'll just see if I can find some place to put them. Maybe I'll stick the steering back in. I don't know, we're gonna see. I'll, uh, I'll just kinda mess with it and see if I can find a place to put this stuff. And then we'll hook the rest of this up. There's only a few more connections left, and we'll be ready to go. Okay, so trying to get this thing fit in there and it doesn't really have a very good spot to go. I need to get the steering back in. And this is where the gear set up for the uh, electric steering, the, the one with the, uh, you know, because it comes with a controller so you can, you can control the vehicle uh, w with the old setup. And they did it with this motor and the steering. With, there were a bunch of other gears in here that I already threw in the trash, but basically I need this housing so that it'll keep the steering shaft in place, uh, keep it secure. So I just took it apart, took the motor out, and took the gears out. I'm gonna put it back together with just this, and then we'll put the shaft back in, <clears throat> and then uh, and then that way it'll it'll go back together easily and it'll be stable. You know, I don't want it flopping around all over the place. If I just tried to, you know, you can see how big that hole is and the steering shaft would not fit in that very well. So we're gonna put that whole setup back in and just do it without the gears. Okay, so this is where I'm at. You can see I uh, just started hacking stuff. I mean, I cut up part of the uh, the original steering box thing there, cut out more of the plastic stuff that was there, and I've already committed to changing this over, and I pulled all the electronics out, so I don't need any of this other stuff. You just need to make it fit. It was pretty easy wiring up everything on the bench. I probably should have tried to figure out where things went, but ultimately, I just didn't care. And uh, I think it's all gonna fit. It'll be all right. We just took a couple stainless screws and drilled them all through. And, you know, we don't have all the the mounting holes all with screws in them. You know, we're missing some spots there and over there. That doesn't matter, though. It'll be fine. No big deal. It doesn't look very good, but my kids think that they're gonna ride this thing tomorrow morning. So I gotta finish this thing. So, uh, I guess we'll just get back to it. Just keep hacking. Okay. And you're just supposed to turn this on. Yep, you gotta turn that on and you're gonna hit the gas pedal, okay? But wait, 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 hang on. Okay. Let me show, let me show underneath the hood here real quick. Are you, are you excited? Yeah. What about you? That thing's almost out of energy. Okay, here it is. Here's the contraption. It's ready to go. We are gonna give this thing a shot. I hope it works. Yeah, 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 I hope it works. Yeah
Okay, you need to be careful, okay? It's gonna be a little bit faster. It's not gonna be super fast, though. Okay, go ahead and push the button. I'm a tiny bit scared. Okay, well, you're all right. There you go. Hit the gas. <laughs> okay, don't <laughs> use the steering wheel. Don't hit his bike. <laughs> How's that feel? <laughs> <laughs> hey, come back over here. Turn. <laughs> oh, <geez>. oh, <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Hang on. Put it back in. Whoa, stop, 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 stop. I think, I think you, uh, I think you, you, you might have broke the motor. Eh? You might have broke the what? Oh, yeah. Oh. I can smell it. Yeah, I can. You shouldn't have done that, buddy. What? You were smashing back and forth from reverse to, to drive. Yep. And I think it might have burned up the, uh, the gears already. The <laughs> okay. <button. laughs> All right. Uh, hey, we're, let's bring it back over here, okay? No, okay. I wanted to do that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, she it didn't like it. We're going to have to fix this. Okay, let off, let off, let off. 